Howdy, Immortalium here, and today I just want to discuss a bit of a surprise news that I came across today. Um, I was on Anime News Network, um, I check Anime News Network quite frequently just to see what updates are happening in the anime world, and I saw a particularly interesting news article, and it said, Doraemon is airing on Disney XD in the summer. Now, for anyone who isn't aware of what Doraemon is, uh, Doraemon is one of the biggest anime and manga series that have ever been made. The manga series has sold over 100 million copies in Japan. Uh, the TV series, I think there's been three separate TV series, um, but in all incarnations have been immensely popular. And in fact, um, the movie franchise of Doraemon recently topped um, Godzilla for Toho's you know, most profitable franchise. Um, so, it's an enormous series, and it's been very popular in many other countries, but this is the first time it's ever been released in English, uh, the anime at least. Um, so I just kind of want to discuss some stuff that, you know, my, some of my thoughts on it, so... Um, the first thing I want to actually say is that this is not the first time I ever came across Doraemon. And in fact, I came across Doraemon, oddly enough, before I even knew what anime was. I was over in France for a holiday. And I remember um, there were all these, you know, stuff on TV. You know how, like, when you're a child and you're on holidays in some foreign country, um, you kind of just like to turn on whatever's on the TV and just look at the colours and all that. And I remember um, Doraemon came on. Um, I didn't know the name at the time. And I, I found it very intriguing, you know, it was brightly coloured, it looked well drawn. Um, it was really weird, you know, how there was this big blue cat, you know, who had all these devices that your man was using. Um, so it, it caught my eye. And I remember it made quite an impression on me, you know, enough that I was able to remember it years later when I, you know, came across what Doraemon was, you know, I had heard, oh, it's one of the biggest anime and manga series ever. What, what is this? And I, you know, look up uh, who Doraemon is and I'm like, I know that guy. I saw him in France. So, and that was my first experience of Doraemon. Um, and it's good news that America is finally going to get, um, you know, a Doraemon series. Um, I suspect it's probably something from the newer series, the 2005 Onward series of Doraemon. Um, but that's fine. Um, what I more want to bring up is, um, if you go onto Anime News Network and go to the forum thread for that article, um, there's quite an interesting debate going on um, about, you know, the age demographic of Doraemon. And I just simply want to say, it is for children. It's a children's show. And it's not a children's show in the same way that, say, Naruto or Bleach or One Piece is. Uh, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, they are shonen. And shonen basically is like 12 to 18, which, you know, about half of that is, you know, a kid. Um, but, you know, it's kind of on the adult side of a kid. Uh, Doraemon is aimed at 6 to 12 year olds, so it is very much a children's show. Which is something I want to point out. Um, because people were freaking out when they announced that uh, Doraemon was going to be censored. Um, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, okay. Uh, they're gonna, first of all, they're going to change the name of some of the characters. So Nobita is going to be Nobi, which, you know, I'm fine with. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Um, and they're going to do a bit of censorship. Um, I'm not entirely sure what kind of censorship it'll be, but... Apparently, like, you know, like, it's quite normal in Japan for, you know, people to have bats together and they might, you know, edit that a bit. And I think that's perfectly fine to do as long as it's a, you know, a proper censorship, you know, uh, cleanly done, uh, doesn't, you know, interrupt the flow of the story, doesn't change the flow of the story. If, if it's a crucial scene, then I think it should be left in. But as long as it doesn't interrupt anything in the story, then I'm perfectly fine with it. Now, the question that people might have is, will I watch it? And the thing is, no. Um, I enjoy animation, and I'm kind of, I would be curious enough, you know, to watch maybe an episode or two just to see what it's kind of like, but I just have this feeling that it's not going to appeal to me. It is very much aimed at children, unlike, you know, say, Naruto, uh, One Piece, Bleach, etc., etc. Um, I would actually be kind of interested in checking out the manga, um, the manga, if I'm correct for Doraemon, has been translated into English, and I think it's available on the Amazon Kindle, I think, all, the entire series. So my biggest hope from this announcement is that maybe 
they'll start, you know, actually doing a print run of Doraemon. I don't know. And even then, it's probably just, like, if I probably just buy the first, maybe one or two volumes of it and say, oh, you know, I have some Doraemon. Um, I doubt that it would actually do anything great for me. So, but you never know until you try. So, what do I think of, you know, Doraemon getting released in English? You know, it's a, it's a, an important step, we should say. Doraemon was recently made the ambassador of anime for Japan. Um, I think he's one of the mascots for the Japanese 2020 Olympics. And that probably did have, you know, a big part in why it's finally getting an airing now. Um, now, I don't think it's going to make a massive difference to how people view anime and manga. I mean, it might be nice if, you know, some of the people watching Doraemon on Disney, you know, look it up and they study what it is and they go, Oh, you know, this is anime, but there's all this other anime as well. And they go to check that out. I think that would be, be perfectly fine, but um, I don't think it's going to have anything like significant like Dragon Ball or Naruto did for anime when they aired, or Pokemon even. Um, so, I don't think it's going to be that significant. Even now, you know, many people are kind of wondering how successful will it be? Will it be a failure? It could very well be a failure. Um, at the very least, it'll, you know, make people recognize Doraemon when they see him at the 2020 Olympics. Um, but we don't know what's happening. Um, so I just thought I'd bring this out, you know, just to explain, you know, my opinions on the release of Doraemon in English finally. And, um, you know, what do I think about what I'd be checking out, etc, etc. Um, and I'd be kind of interested to hear what you guys think. I know some of you aren't um, in English-speaking uh, world, um, you're in some other parts, so I'm kind of curious if you're in another part of the world that doesn't speak English, you know, does Doraemon air there? Is it particularly popular? Uh, I'd like to hear that. And uh, even if you're in the English-speaking world, maybe you would like to say um, what, you th what encounters you've had with Doraemon. I mean, I remember um, in, like, what was it? One of the first volumes of Naruto, you know, Masashi Kishimoto, um, as part of his, like, you know, recollection of his childhood, you know, apparently when he was young, he freaked out when people drew uh, Doraemon because they'd always draw him slightly incorrectly and he, he didn't, like, make one drawing of what they did and a drawing of what he did. And it is a subtle difference, but it looks more like Doraemon. Um, and uh, it, it's been referenced in lots of other stuff. My girlfriend's a geek. Um, I've recently reviewed that. It's referenced in that quite a bit. Um, and there was something I read recently that had like Toramon or something like that in it, which was a you know a parody of Doramon. I can't remember, but you know it's it is a significant franchise. That's what I want to point out, and it's nice to see it get an English release. Um, so you know I'd love to hear your I, your opinions on this. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and bye bye.